China's photon catcher may mark a quantum leap in counter-stealth, but technical limits show the bigger challenge is the conflict between stealth and counter-stealth systems. This month, the South China Morning Post SCMP, reported that China has begun mass-producing the world's first four-channel, ultra-low-noise single-photon detector, dubbed the photon catcher a breakthrough that could significantly advance stealth aircraft detection and quantum communication technologies. Dubbed the photon catcher, the device can detect a single photon the smallest unit of energy making it a core component in cutting-edge technologies such as quantum communication and quantum radar for stealth aircraft detection and tracking. The feat was achieved by the Quantum Information Engineering Technology Research Center in Anhui Province and reported last Friday by Science and Technology Daily, a publication of China's Ministry of Science and Technology. Developed by the Quantum Information Engineering Technology Research Center in Anhui Province, the detector can sense individual photons the smallest units, depending on frequency, there are different energy level photons, of energy enabling quantum radar to spot stealth jets like the US F-22 Raptor by identifying minute quantum changes that traditional radar cannot detect. Reported by China's Science and Technology Daily, the achievement marks self-sufficiency and global leadership in quantum information components, with the device reducing noise by 90% and operating at temperatures as low as 120 degrees Celsius. A quantum radar node, if fielded, would act as an additional source of detection data that stealth aircraft might find hard to evade. The combination of sensors can compensate for each sensor's gaps, creating a counter-stealth ecosystem. Researchers say the detector's four-channel design allows simultaneous multi-wavelength scanning, improving imaging rates while consuming minimal power making the radar both harder to detect and more reliable in complex electromagnetic environments. The technology, now in service with top Chinese institutions, is also expected to underpin next-generation quantum communication networks and applications from biomedical imaging to deep space laser ranging. Quantum radar uses entangled photons, sending one toward a target while keeping its twin in reserve. When the returning photon interacts with the stored one, their quantum link confirms detection. But such futuristic claims warrant closer scrutiny. In a 2022 paper for the Canadian National Defence College, Graham Hill mentions that photon-sensing quantum radar could detect low reflectivity and stealth targets by correlating entangled photon pairs, improving signal-to-noise ratios by up to 6 decibels and extending detection range by roughly 40%. Hill adds that the technology's low probability of intercept makes it nearly immune to jamming and ideal for penetrating high noise or cluttered environments. However, he also states that real-world deployment faces severe technical barriers, notably cryogenic cooling requirements, limited range beyond 10 km and long signal integration times making it currently impractical for operational use. Similarly, Heather Penny mentions in a January 2024 paper for the Mitchell Institute for Aerospace Studies that quantum radar faces technical constraints such as decoherence, low photon return rates, and environmental noise, which makes real-world performance unreliable. Penny says that while the system attracts strategic interest, it remains a laboratory curiosity rather than a deployable capability. In addition to those points, Edward Parker mentions in an October 2021 RAND report that current prototypes remain laboratory scale, limited by fragile entanglement and cryogenic requirements. Parker adds that until recently, quantum radars were only capable of tracking the target's distance from the receiver, but not its direction or speed. He notes that quantum radars cannot track target direction or speed using the Doppler effect, as conventional radars do. Due to those drawbacks, he states that quantum radar will not provide upgraded capability to the U.S. military, concluding that despite China's reported advances, it remains a speculative, long-term prospect, not a deployable technology. Such disadvantages may have influenced the U.S. to pursue alternative short-range detection technologies. For instance, the war zone reported in January 2025 that the F-22 would receive infrared search and track systems, a proven passive sensor technology that detects targets in the infrared spectrum regardless of their stealth features, even in a heavy electronic warfare environment. 
But even if quantum radar has significant limitations and may still be in the prototype stage, it could significantly bolster a layered sensor network. A quantum radar node, if fielded, would act as an additional source of detection data that stealth aircraft might find hard to evade. The combination of sensors can compensate for each sensor's gaps, creating a counter-stealth ecosystem. For instance, space-based optical sensors can be used to detect stealth aircraft. In December 2021, a B-2 bomber was photographed on Google Maps showing that while stealth aircraft can evade radar and possibly thermal sensors, it is nowhere near invisible in broad daylight. Showing the potential military application of that concept, Clayton Swope mentions in a January 2024 Center for Strategic and International Studies article that China's Yaogan 41 satellites, operating in geostationary orbit, offer persistent optical surveillance across the Indo-Pacific. Swope says that with a resolution potentially as small as 2.5 meters, it can identify car-sized objects, including airborne assets. He adds that, unlike radar, optical sensors are less affected by stealth coatings and shaping. By continuously monitoring airspace, Swope states that Yaogan 41 can detect movement patterns, contrails, or thermal signatures of stealth aircraft. He adds that when paired with AI algorithms trained to recognize anomalies, China can automate detection and tracking, with this data queuing low-Earth orbit satellites or other platforms for higher resolution imaging or targeting enhancing China's ability to monitor and respond to aerial threats.